Driving the limit of grip is something we all strive for, but it can be a fine balancing act between setting a lightning fast time and heading arse first into the arm cone. Does that sound like something you're struggling with? Well, make sure you concentrate because I'm going to give you the lowdown on how you can drive on the limit like a pro. Let me introduce you to my friend the Traction Circle. I think you'll get along. It's probably the easiest way of teaching people the basics of tyre grip, which, as you probably know, is the single most major barrier between driving like a pleb and a god. On the Traction Circle, there's two axes, braking and accelerating, or turning either way. Pretty simple, right? Well, not quite, because before I teach you how to use it, you need to fully understand how tyres work. So let me explain it in Fortnite terms. Tyres can only take a certain amount of abuse before they give out. Our lovely Michelins here only have 100 health. Now stick with me here, I promise this will make sense. Whenever we brake, accelerate or turn, the tyres take some damage. So for instance, accelerating hard could do 40 damage. Then if we add a bit of steering doing 60 damage, the tyre's health would be completely depleted and they would end up going to the gulag or lose grip. And yes, I know the gulag isn't in Fortnite, okay? I'm not that old. It's all about managing and balancing the amount of load we put onto the tyres. As a driving god, you'll need to keep this basic principle in the back of your mind at all times and always be cautious of how much damage you're dealing to your tyres. But don't worry if you can't do this, because there is a quick and easy way to visualise it without needing to use one of those two all-important brain cells. And that is where the traction circle I mentioned earlier comes in. This inner circle represents 100 health, or the limit of grip. And you see that small dot? That's how much damage you're doing. It's measured by the g-forces exerted through the car. So again, if we accelerate, we do about 40 damage to the tyre, and the g-forces are travelling rearwards through the car. If we throw in some steering too, you can see the g-forces are now travelling rear and to the side, and they're getting awfully close to that circle, which means killing the tyre. If we go over it, we're going to lose traction. But what if I told you that everything I've been teaching you so far is a big fat lie? Well, more on that in a moment. For now, I'm going to make a massive, baseless assumption about your driving skill. So make sure you listen up to know whether you should get offended or not. When you first try out the traction circle, it'll look one of two ways. Let's call them Noob 1 and Noob 2. So here's Noob 1. They, them, aren't utilising very much of the tyre's health. And this is shown by the dot getting nowhere near the circle. This means they're either braking too early, accelerating too softly, or not cornering hard enough, or you know, all of them at once. They're nowhere close to the limit of grip, meaning they're slow AF. Noob 2 on the other hand is doing the exact opposite. Noob 2 has fallen into the same trap that a lot of new drivers do too. They're overdriving the car. They them are accelerating too hard, braking too much, and turning too sharply, or in other words, pushing the car past its limits. The dot is constantly going over the circle and is very erratic in its movements. This isn't how you drive fast. In fact, you'd be surprised at how some of the fastest laps look slow, because the driver is being as smooth as butter and not causing any drama. Now, you can probably guess what a pro's traction circle would look like now. Yep, yeah, you're right, it's somewhere in between the middle of both noobs. You can see the dot is moving much smoother and is almost always on the circle whilst cornering, meaning, you guessed it, he's utilising all of the tyre's health. In absolutely ideal conditions, the traction circle should look like this whilst cornering. But what about that big lie I mentioned earlier? Well, you may have noticed that the pro can also go over the limit of grip, and believe it or not, he does this on purpose. It's a common misconception that as soon as you break the limit of traction, you'll instantly barrel roll into the closest tree and die. But that isn't the case. Once over the limit, and if you know what you're doing, you actually have a little bit of leeway before totally losing grip. And you can use this to your advantage to rotate the car without drifting, for an example. <coughs> Slip angle. The point I'm trying to make is you shouldn't live and die by this circle. But if you are struggling to drive on the limit or struggling to know exactly where it is, it can definitely help. Let me show you how. Oh, wait, I've already shown you how. Well, if you found this video helpful or entertaining, check out this playlist. It includes all my driving tutorials or this video in which I tell you all about snap or lift off oversteer. You'll love it.